What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. And he had something interesting to say in a recent interview. He stated that he's okay with a loss. And honestly, he doesn't know why these big fights haven't happened. He also went to say, if you lose, that's fine. Okay, build yourself back up, get back on your feet, rebuild, and come back stronger. And he used Dominic Brazil as a perfect example. He said, look at Dominic Brazil. Dominic Brazil is a fighter that lost to Joshua once. Now he's built himself back up by fighting tough challengers, and now he's back again for a title shot. So that's a perfect example of somebody building themselves back up. Now, for Deontay Wilder, that is absolutely 100% true. That's what it's about. Um, I feel that you can lose and get back up. I think losses define fighters, honestly. It gives them another trial. It gives them another tribulation. It gives them a sense of humbleness because they know there has been someone that was able to defeat them on this particular night or this particular day, okay? And it takes a stronger person to understand that, to rebuild, to have the desire, to know that they're not perfect, that record's not perfect, because no one's perfect, essentially, and get back in there and come back stronger, you know, and correct what the mistakes you made that night, if it was because of carelessness and the carelessness coming from arrogance or uh, not respecting your opponent or underestimating your opponent, cool. But you do come back and you do overcome those things. And that is that. So, yes, I agree on that. However, the politics behind the thing is what he mentioned second was with he doesn't know why the fights haven't happened. Uh, look, the fights haven't happened because of the things I previously mentioned. Arrogance. You know. Um, greed. You know, that's what it comes down to. So I don't think that he can say, I don't know why these fights haven't happened. He can say, well, these fights haven't happened because I haven't received the amount of money or the, or the amount of respect or the amount of whatever I feel that I deserve because it's the money, but the money's backed by other things, okay? So if you got a fighter like Deontay Wilder that looks upon himself as a much much more important fighter or a more important puzzle piece to the heavyweight division. He feels he should want more money versus someone else's perception of him and his value. That's why those fights haven't happened in a nutshell. Okay. One guy wants more. One guy wants to split. The other guy wants to give you a certain amount of money that a lot of people don't feel that you're worth, you know, and you feel otherwise. That's why that fight hasn't happened. Now, in this article, he went to say, and they mentioned Luis Ortiz, and he said, well, why not? You know, and Tyson Fury wants to fight him in March. Anthony Joshua, if the fight between those two guys don't work. The funny thing about that, if those guys, if Deontay Wilder doesn't fight Anthony Joshua later this year, Deontay Wilder will fight uh, Luis Ortiz for the second time. So that will leave Anthony Joshua somewhere with either White or some other opponent simply because Joshua wanted Luis Ortiz for himself. That's what, that's what um, Eddie Hearn was trying to get uh, a fight or come back to the table for Luis Ortiz to fight him late later this year, which that would be great for Ortiz. Either way, um, Ortiz is in a good position. He, of course, would be in a better position with um, fighting Joshua because he's already fought Wilder. OK, you know, he's got five hundred thousand. And regardless of how he feels he can beat or who's easier, he will make more money with Anthony Joshua. And this is prize fighting at the end of the day. And that's what he should do. But back to Deontay. Deontay is, is a person that he speaks 
some things directly from his heart, but I think a lot of things are orchestrated. I think a lot of things that he's kind of, you know, baited to say. Um, but it's great that he does say those things because he's setting the platform once again, if he does, or a cushion rather, that if he does take a, a loss, he knows, well, hey, I can I can pick myself back up like I stated, like I've been preaching, like I speak it, believe it, receive it. I can now come back, save face and, and, and rebuild, you know, and fight for another title or, you know, get that rematch because he's in a good position anyway, because if he fights Joshua, it's going to be two fights. It's not going to be one fight, maybe. Or if we get one fight, that would be probably shitty for him if he loses, only if he loses, though. But if he does lose, he would have to do exactly what he said other people has done like Dominic Brazil. You know what I'm saying? So he would he would know firsthand on how it's like to build himself back up. So then we will see if he really believes the words that he's saying, because then he will do them and put in work and show people what he meant when he said in this article. But anyway, that's my counterpunch on this concerning Deontay Wilder's interview. I'll leave the article below, let you guys check it out. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.